Hey friends, I am Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today, I will be testing the first CarPlay AI box with Android 12 operating system. This one is called Play AI Box. Now, as you know, most of the CarPlay devices in the market run on uh, Android 10 or some on Android 11 as well. But this one is the first device that runs on Android 12 operating system and it can be upgraded to Android 13. This model is called UX999+. Plus. It has an octa-core processor with very powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 6125 chip with 4 GB RAM and 64 GB internal storage. It has a full Android system as well as wireless CarPlay for iPhone and Android Auto functionality for Android mobiles. It also comes with a SIM card slot and a slot for SD memory card so you can add more storage up to 128 GB. One important thing to keep in mind is that this CarPlay box, just like any other CarPlay device, only works in cars with factory fitted wired CarPlay system. So before buying this, make sure that your car has a wired CarPlay system. Now let's do the unboxing to check out the contents in the box. This is all we get inside the box. Uh, you've got uh, instructions manual here. And then you've got a cable to connect the device with your car. Now this comes with a converter adapter. So you've got USB-A and USB-C connection. This is what I need for my car. But uh, if you've got a car with a USB-C port, then you just need this converter to convert this USB-A to USB-C. All right, and then you connect this device on this one end and the other end goes into the system of your car. So very simple. Then this is the device we have, uh, you know, it's uh, not really big, um, it's a squarish design. Uh, you've got uh, enough spacing at the back for air ventilation so the device doesn't heat up. Uh, very lightweight, all plastic body. You've got uh, two LED indicators here. Uh, now looking at the connections, you've got the USB-C connection here. This is for the cable. And then here, this is a cap. And if we remove this cap, we have two slots. Uh, one for a TF card and the other one for the SIM card. Now I've already added a, a SD memory card here. So we can test, uh, you know, some of the applications or a video uh, through the TF card. So this is it guys, uh, very simple device, uh, very lightweight and compact. Now let me take this out to my car and connect it and then we will test all the different functions and features. So keep watching guys. All right friends, so I have the device uh, with me now. Uh, I'll connect this uh, with my car using this uh, USB-A uh, cable. Okay, so I've connected uh, the Play AI box uh, device with the system of my car. Uh, now it will take a few seconds for the screen to calibrate and sync with the device. And then it will show us the uh, home page of Android 12. There you go. So guys, this is the main homepage of this Play AI Box CarPlay device with Android 12 operating system. This is kind of the new user interface, uh, very different to the ones I've been testing in the past. Uh, now, let me give you a quick briefing on the layout. On the top left, you have the connections, so time, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, all the connections would appear here. Uh, then you have three shortcut icons. These are the last uh, opened or the ones that are currently running apps. Uh, this basically takes you to an application manager where you can see all the different apps installed on this uh, device. Now, this comes with the Google Play Store. So you can install uh, more apps if you want. There are pre-installed ones. Uh, in fact, I've installed a few just for the test today. But if you want to add more, you know, this has 64 GB of internal storage. So tons and tons of space for you to install more apps. 
So going back to this main page, now once you connect to our Apple CarPlay or your mobile, you will start seeing some contacts appearing here. This is the latest media running and these are your favorites. So at the moment, we haven't uh, added any favorites, but if you click this, it takes us to this page where you know we can start adding favorites to the main home page so let's add youtube the file manager all right so very quick briefing on how this works how this looks but if you want to move away from this you can swipe to left and you start seeing all the individual apps uh, appearing one after another now this device comes with built-in gps uh, so this gps test tells you the strength of the signal you're getting on this uh, device there you go so what we will do in this video today in order to test the performance of this Play AI Box uh, device, we will start testing some of the frequently used applications and features. So let's start that test now. The first thing we will test is uh, YouTube. All right, so YouTube is uh, playing fine. Now the steering wheel controls are also working. So bring the voice down. Um, let's see if we getting a good resolution output so we can change this to uh, 4k so 2160p there you go so very very clear this is 4k video playing in 4k it looks quite nice now let's check uh, netflix The quality is quite nice. Would you look at my apartment? Rock apart. It's no good without one to compare it to. The center's missing. Okay, so Netflix working center. perfectly fine. Okay, so the next one, let's test TikTok. Okay. Hi, how are you? All right, so TikTok seems to be working fine. Let's uh, bring the volume down a little bit. Now, I've got a TF card, a SD memory card I've uh, inserted into this uh, Play AI box. Now, let's see if we can play a video file. I've got a very heavy 4K video file on uh, on this SD card. So let's see if we can play that. All right, so this is a video that I'm playing uh, using the TF card, uh, SD memory card, which I've inserted into the Play AI box. Um, and I'm very impressed, you know, it plays quite nicely. It's very smooth, no lagging at all. Now let's see uh, if we can uh, test the navigation app. Let's take Alright, so navigation seems to be working fine as well. Yeah, quite responsive. So that's good. So the next one uh, is wireless CarPlay. So now let's go to this Z link here. And then what we need to do is uh, go to my iPhone, uh, open Bluetooth. And I should be able to see a new device appearing on my Bluetooth as Play AI Box. Click on that. Pair the device. Allow it to sync favorites. And then finally click on this Use CarPlay. Now in a few seconds we should be able to see the home page of Apple CarPlay. There you go. So very quick. Uh, this is uh, a one-time setup you just need to do this once connect it with the bluetooth of your iphone and then every time you switch on the car uh, as long as your bluetooth is switched on on your iphone uh, the device will detect the connection and take you to this main home page of uh, apple carplay now if you want to connect android auto uh, you just need to follow the same steps so on your android mobile open bluetooth you should be able to see this new device as play ai box click on this pair it and then you should be able to see Android Auto homepage on the screen any second now. All right, so there you go. So this is Android Auto. Now oh, again, this is just a one-time setup. You need to connect this once uh, with your mobile and then every time you switch on the car, uh, it takes you directly to the homepage of Android Auto. All right, so now uh, let's uh, move on uh, and uh, test the live TV app. All right, uh, let's test some of the channels. 
Okay, live TV seems to be working. Alright, so live TV also seems to be working fine. The videos are very nice and smooth, no lagging at all. Now there is a split screen option uh, in this uh, device which is quite nice. Go here, click on split screen and then you should be able to select both of them. Alright, so we say YouTube on one side and live TV on the other side. It's very simple. And it's very very handy so you can have uh, YouTube or live video or any sort of video content running on this side and then have navigation on the on the other side all right friends so we've tested all the different uh, applications on this uh, play AI box uh, carplay adapter everything worked perfectly fine uh, you know the video uh, playback was excellent absolutely no lag when moving from one app to another it was quite fast so that's also good uh, and everything else worked perfectly fine I'm I'm quite happy that uh, you know the manufacturers have launched an Android 12 device you know this is the latest device and this can be upgraded to Android 13 uh, in the coming weeks and months so guys if you are interested to buy this uh, amazing play ai box uh, latest android 12 carplay adapter just go to the link in the description of the video it takes you directly to the manufacturer's store where you can buy this play ai box carplay adapter with android 12 operating system thanks for watching the video